Hey there guys, we are back with some more Rogue Tower. So last time we did a pretty um how they say this? A pretty interesting map as I do say so myself. Uh but this time I will wait, hold on. Uh sorry um sorry for that. I did not um, activate the levels to RPM mod and yes we are going to use that mod today and you might be wondering what mod will we do so obviously see this it's the laser so a uh, commenter actually inspired me to do a video again of this of this um, challenge or uh, this gimmick with levels to RPM mod but this time it will be only it all will only be a single obelisk tower and to go for martial monsters to get all of our upgrades early as well as you know have more chances to you know limit test this one so as we go here grab your drinks grab your snacks we are jumping right into this obelisk run of rogue tower and let me just open my canned coffee here mm -hmm. anyway oh that's some good coffee uh we have an obelisk tower at the ready so i think it is pretty much ideal to get that as early as possible as well as probably a mana bank i know it's not the best decision to do especially because you know it's pretty early but i would want to you know limit test this one as early as possible uh so with that in mind uh we need to get our gold first and also we need to get sorcery as well so if you don't know obelisk tower is one of the um, the towers that take uh, that utilize and um, how do I say this that consume like the mana the fastest in my opinion anyway and you might be wondering why well obviously but hold on do I place you here or here I think there's like a better spot so you know there's a thrill of actually dying here um, let's just get all these upgrades out of the way so yeah, one of the reasons is Obelisk Tower is a laser. So the way that damage is calculated in Rogue Tower is there is an RPM for all towers, like all different types of towers. There is um, a rate in which they are attacking. And oh, Mana Siphon, let's just get that out of the way as well. And sure, let's grab the Death Ray. So towers have their own um, dam range, fire rate. As well as damage so for the obelisk tower um i will show you once we get the tower um one of the reasons why it is how do i say it is really mana hungry is that it's technically not a laser like the way the game is coded it is literally a, a lot of pro, a lot of smaller projectiles being shot at being shot at the same time like in imagine like a, a continuous array of projectiles instead of like a laser the animation is laser but the pro damage is um multiple projectiles so i'm just gonna place you here so as you can see the rpm is really fast so that's that emulates the laser effect wherein you are like melting like a single continuous damage as well as a range and as you can see it uses two mana per shot so usually um hold on let me just get all these upgrades um <clears throat> excuse me so yeah we're going a spiral map as well you know to utilize the best of the best of the best here so yeah as you can see it has a 385 rpm which is almost like one shot a second and that is um no that is almost i don't know that is wait hold on six shots a second i mean my math is not mathing today <laughs> um sure let's have lifesteal as well or mana cycling let's go for mana cycling let's get all the upgrades first so you had 60 rpm that's like six shots a second and then you have or like six point something shots a second and then we have two mana per shot which you know calculates really fast mana drain so that's one of the reasons why um obelisks obelisk is a really mana hungry unit and then if you upgrade this as you can see it also increases it by a lot because of the levels to RPM. As you can see how much mana this thing is draining. So I'm not really sure. One sad thing about this is we can't really physically see. I mean, 
we can physically see the increase in um how do i say this increase in damage i mean increase in fire rate because we can't see the projectiles we can only see like you know we can only see a straight laser because that's the animation of the thing so if i upgrade you how much do i upgrade i only add two mana so let's just give us some mana siphons to start here you know do not you know lose all of our mana in like one fell swoop so at least we have some mana to regenerate with oh uh, yeah so my goal just upgrade this one tower over here i don't care if you know we are i'm going to they are they will need to travel a long way to get to their mana um i just want the single tower to become really really powerful that is our goal for today and that is the goal for um everything uh-huh Um, I will upgrade you probably at least even out the damage for all types of damage bam, bam. Okay, now we need additional range and additional range so that will increase this range by even more so as you can see this thing is getting all lasered up lasers are destroying this and as and i really want to get mana cycling to reduce e even more the mana the mana consumption of this tower so i want base game and goal to let this tower become absolute menace so yeah our problem would probably be um having multiple units because you know it takes time for this tower to actually switch its target if you know what i mean because you know it can't be instantly lasering everything or else that would be really funny to look at as well as really um it's really funny to and that would be really broken as well um for the upgrades i will just get you and you you know what? i don't care about the slow and let's just get upgrades here as well for our mana you are adding Three mana a second, as well as some, uh, as well as some maximum mana. So I think that's pretty much more worth it, as compared to having, uh, as compared to getting, uh, mana siphons. And maybe if we can get another savings account, that would be even more worth it for us, right? In theory. And now let's add more damage to the armor as well as mm, yeah burn let them burn i think we could go for haunted house for that so that we could have even more money later since this is the round we're in we get the graveyards That's it. yeah one good thing about this um, upgrade I mean this tower is that most of the time these dudes are like one shot away if we upgrade them anyway um, we can have life steal because in theory that is like the best way um, also let's, let's get some mines here um, that is the best way to you know generate some mana if you are only targeting a single unit at a time um, mines, mines, more mines, more mines, and more mines. Easy enough. See, a good thing this thing has a range, or else this would be nasty. So, as you can see, there's a problem with these dudes. Um, it takes time for the obvious to switch targets, so it's not really that slow. But if we if we get a swarms of enemies, that could be a problem for us. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not grab you? Um, let them have more health. And let's oh, that's not uh, that's not a mana siphon place. That's for a haunted house place. What's wrong with you? So yeah, look on the bright side. Look at this. Like even though it, most of them are only one shot away, it takes time for this for the obelisk to actually switch. 
targets. It's so funny to look at though, like in the moment the laser hits, the units just die instantly. Kind of funny to look at. Okay, Seance, that gives us more income, more money for our future upgrades. Mm -hmm. So yeah, probably most of the time in this run would just be waiting for the for the mobs to run towards um, this area of uh, for, of the obelisk. But you know, I don't want to get another obelisk and place it at the very front, and you know, um, leave this obelisk to not do anything at all. Mm. Because I don't want to do that in general. Um, pam 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 pam. Pam 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 pam. Okay. Fair enough. So I'm, I'm just going to save my money until I see like a time wherein this could be a problem. So as you can see over here. Okay, so it takes a bit of time. So I think it's time to upgrade now. Oh my god, are you seeing this mana drain? <laughs> did you see that mana drain? Oh my gosh, I did not expect it to drain that fast. That is insane. Most of my money would be dedicated to just building these mana banks. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the mana drain every time it hits a single unit. That is absolutely insane. No amount of mana banks can actually comp can actually keep up with that mana drain. My only thing, my only um my only saving grace here is having a lot of maximum mana. Because that would allow us to... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me just place these. And place... Oh, no, that is not hitting anything. Um, because having a lot of reserve mana would have... Uh, would have... Allowed us to have more time to think about... Also, let's place all of our mana banks in one area to make it look really satisfying, especially in the thumbnail, right? This is for the thumbnail. Okay, Seance 3. Demolish this, and Focus Fire would be nice. That would literally shred any bosses. And then, sure. Movement speed would be a genius thing as well, so that towers uh so that the enemies could reach the this tower as quick um as fast as possible also if you are hearing um drilling in the background i apologize neighbors are you know drilling their walls and it and you know <clears throat> the rooms in um the walls in the in this building is not that thick so i could actually hear like for me i could hear them i hope you can't hear them if you do i apologize don't worry this will not be in all videos will only be for this video because I really wanted to record. I really want to play Rogue Tower and I wanted to record my like I I it just feels weird to play this game without recording. That is my main my main thought process. I think that's the way I that's the way you say it, right? Like it just feels weird to me. Like it feels like something is missing out. It feels like you guys are missing out for some reason. So that's why I Whenever I want to play, I, you know, I just hit record. I like talk to you guys. It just feels weird staying silent playing this game now. I played this game for a long time, like recording. I don't know how many episodes I did already with this. That it feels so wrong not to talk in front of it while playing. Like it feels empty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, it's just making part of my routine now. That guy absolutely got absolutely obliterated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I think it's time to just get all the other upgrades. 
like for the fire for the poison and let's see how fast the boss actually perishes here Perry perishes okay you are a mini boss gone in like a second Pam pam pam. Oh my god, these guys are like one tap. Let's see the boss. Come on. Do you see the boss absolutely got melted? That is insane. I love how this dude is literally just, you know, like one frame probably. That's probably a single frame on um, damage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Another mad effect. So what's your attack speed? It's almost double the base attack speed already. No, it's more than double. I realize it's like triple already. It's a thousand two hundred RPM. That's like twenty shots a second. No wonder I'm losing man. Good thing I, there is no enemy that could you know last more than like a few frames of attack here. So yeah, this is the problem. As you can see, I'm not really having problem destroying them. It's the amount of enemies that is a problem. So maybe it comes up, it becomes a problem in the future. Pam pam, fire and flames. Sure, let's just get that quality over quantity as well. Sure, I really don't need anybody. I mean, like the more. This is the only time that I'm actually investing a lot in mana siphons. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of water here. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it's just so scary. You lose that amount of mana in a short period of time. And then... Sure, upgrade you. To deal even more damage. Yeah, look at this, 1,330 RPM. Like, yeah, it's the... the sh like, even in one speed. Look at this. It's just a blink of an eye. It's just so funny to look at. <laughs> sure, go them in fire. Make them suffer. Let's get all those upgrades sorted. This is so tempting, man. I, it's so tempting to have... But let's just place a single ballista here. <clears throat> just for the heck of it. It just feels so wrong to not place anything on top of that tower. <laughs> also, let's do this. Uh, I was hoping for something. Also, let's place some mana bank surrounding this area. Like, let's have like a mana bank alley here. Pam, 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 pam. Just surround this thing with mana banks. Um, um, am I recording? Yes, I am recording. You know, that's one of my worries every time I record. Like, did I record? Or did I... Or did I press record or all these things or... Something. Okay, now let's go for... Are you, are you dealing poison damage? Like, did I get poison damage for you? Yes, you did get poison damage. Holy crap, that's so speedy. There is zooming, and they just died as quick and as fast as they traveled. Yeah, those things are pretty worrisome. Once they like stack, kind of worried that one or two units would go through. But they need to travel all the way around here, though. Like they would still need to go through the laser again. Then. Maybe if I increase the attack speed enough, then we would not have any problems. For me, a teleportation dude would be a problem in the future. I really don't know. Uh, sure, now let's get all the bleedness down. Ooh, more mines. More places for mines. That is one speedy fellow.
We are doing lines. Uh, so yeah, what can? Oh yeah, I'm drinking canned coffee right now because mm. I'm too lazy to brew my own coffee. The last <clears throat> coffee I made was already gone. I think I'm developing an addiction here, but I'm trying my best to lessen the coffee. You know, just because like too much coffee, getting dependent of in anything really. It's not it's not good so that's why i'm trying to tone down the coffee a bit like maybe limited i'm gonna limit the amount of coffee i drink to how many like how many times a day uh for you guys if you are a coffee drinker like, i wonder how many coffee cups do you drink a day like or maybe if not a coffee maybe tea or anything like that <clears throat> basically the thing that you drink or maybe hot choco like, how many cups do you drink a day? Like, I wonder. In a day, right? Like, all those things that you usually drink in the morning. Like, maybe hot tea, hot milk, hot choco. Like, how many times, how many cups, or how many times do you drink those things ad in a day? <laughs> also, I wish that this would also increase in range. Like, imagine, like, a huge range laser. I would want that. Look at this. This guy zoom in way ahead of its spears. I'm really scared for the dude that I mean for the units that would spawn the missiles. That is the one unit that I'm really scared because the missiles are really fast. They spawn in really high numbers. Oh my god, they're slowly getting through though. Never mind. They are not bunched up enough. The mistake. That's a huge mistake. Never mind, there's still more units that spawn. Oh no, I realized my weakness for this run. Um, are the enemies that actually split every time you shoot them. Mm -hmm, trail of blood, make them suffer. Yeah, that is my weakness, probably. Bum, bum, bum. Also recently, um, I just realized, I know that I'm uploading this on YouTube, but I realized in the past, wherein I was um, watching, you know, this is just around, oh no, it's the missiles, no, no, it's the missiles, oh no, they are, they're swarming, they're swarming, oh no, they're swarming, some of them are going through, oh no, this is, I think, the start of the end, this is the start of the end. A, sing a single obvious tower can handle all this. No, no. I'm dead. I'm just dead. There's too many units. I'm just dead. Oh, frick. <laughs> okay, so I guess that story would be saved for another day. But yeah, the weakness of this singular tower over here is multiple units. But anyway, hope you still enjoyed this video of Rogue Tower. If you did, click that like button, subscribe if you want more, upload new every day. Be sure to check them out as well. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day. And leave down a comment, helps the algorithm. See you guys next time. Have a great day again. Hope to see you in the next video.